Don't know what to do for spring fashion? Don't worry, I got you. We're gonna talk all about all the trends and my picks for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Better Together. When you know better, you get better. And that's what we are doing here every single day. Our quote of the day, fashion is the armor to survive the reality of everyday life. Bill Cunningham. (laughs) Fun, right? (laughs) I like that. Uh, Or one from Johnny Versace, because Bill Cunningham, I don't know. That's why I did that. I have no idea. (laughs) (laughs) Can you imagine Bill Cunningham is like, you know, like an anonymous name for like Coco Chanel or something? (laughs) I don't know. Okay. Don't be into trends. Don't make fashion own you. You decide what you are, what you want to express by the way you dress and the way you live. Oh, what a nice reminder, Mr. Versace. I Isn't like that fun? That. Yeah, because we all just want to dress the same because we're like, oh my God, that's so cute. I want to look like you, but how about you want to look like yourself? You. Yeah, and I think it's easy, right? We, we fall into these patterns where it's like, okay, it, it's what's all there. It's what's out there. Yeah. So instead of like hunting a little harder and finding your own your own style, it's like, yeah. no, I'll just be ever, like everyone else. Well, also, I think fashion is intimidating. I think True. that you don't know if something is going to look good together. And so you need someone else's opinion to tell you that it looks good. And it's like, well, why can't I tell myself it looks good? Right. Like, good point. And then you see someone do something really unique and different, like putting a really oversized white button down with a little crop vest, knit vest and like a legging and the, or whatever. And you're like, Oh, I would have never thought of that. But that's why stylists are so cool because Mm -hmm. they're brave to do things that the rest of us are too scared to do. And then they'll set the trends and totally, but you can be your own as well. Like you can do it yourself. Yeah. You just got to own it. Not be scared. Yeah. So heel squad, welcome back today. We're going to be talking about kids kids in the business, do's and don'ts. Ooh, really? <laughs> Is that old? <laughs> I was going to say, I just totally anchorman you. Do I get a pass since it was my B day yesterday? I'm yes. still recovering. You're still recovering. Yes. Cause I'm like, I totally what? screwed you. <laughs> and how the Pope thinks having pets is a replace. I think that was like an old, old episode. episode. Yeah, that I, Totally right. screwed you. Everybody on YouTube just turned out, tuned out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking about trends, fashion today. We're answering some Heel Squad questions. Mm-hmm. But I think, Maria, what I'm excited to hear you talk about, which fit perfectly into our um, spring fashion trend segment, mm-hmm. was someone from the Heel Squad wants to know how you can find your own style and you're really good at it. Thanks. Um, so you are. Thank you. You are. So anyways, I'm excited to talk about that. Well, it's funny because I feel like my style is a little bit all over the board. It always has. Like I always used to say kind of classy, sexy. Um, I have a youthful spirit to my fashion, but it's also classic. Yeah. Um, I like to have fun with my fashion. I really do think fashion makes life fun. Um, You know. It's just, it helped me get through the passing of my mom. I started getting creative with my fashion and I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Um, But uh, but yeah, I always am looking for those unique pieces. Like right now I'm wearing these pants and I will stand up for those of you on YouTube. But they got this like long crotch and they're like baggy and they're high-waisted and... I got them in Italy. I got this little jacket in Italy, but I'm going to take it off so you can see. Okay, I'll give by. you Apple Podcasters a play-by-play. Okay. Oh, cute. They're kind of like uh, cargo pants, but yeah, long crotch. I don't think there's anything cargo about they, these, but they're, they, they're wool. They kind of look cargo-y. And Pooja got this agrees with me. Thank you very much. Cargo? Yes. Like like, like trouser cargo pants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're trousers. And then they have these like wide bottom like cuffs. Cute. And... I just think they were fun. And I started when I was in Italy at the store. I was like, oh, my God, they have such unique pieces. And I really like either having that, like, statement shoe that's going to make everything really fun um, or, you know, a unique piece here or there. And, um, you know, I think I was posting recently. I have this, like, baseball cap but without the, the rim. It's just like this little like round thing. It's like a little, it's kind of like a mix of a beanie and a baseball cap. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought that was unique and I was like, yeah. okay, cool. And I just, uh, I, I like having fun with it all. I, I think that, you know, I'm, I'm pretty 
kind of classic. You'll see me in a white t-shirt and jeans a lot, but there'll be that fun shoe or that fun, um, you know, accessory or something to kind of liven it up. But I am pretty basic too. I do have a lot of stuff in my closet, even though I got rid of, do you remember when I moved closets? Yeah. And you got rid of boxes. It was like eight massive, those full, huge trash bags that were bigger than me. And then boxes and boxes, all of it went. So I actually have thinned out my closet tremendously and I have to do it again. Oh, great. Awesome for us, Pooja. Mm. I know. I'm excited. <laughs> you guys I'm are like, so presumptuous. Oh, yeah, totally. A hundred percent. It's still my it's still my birthday week. So mm-hmm. I'm allowed to be presumptuous and I'm allowed to mess up on my birthday week. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> and she says I get I get close too. Yeah, it's her I, birthday. It's my birthday week, as I Pooja does. Too. I know the exactly. girls are so sad because they're not my shoe size. <laughs> Honestly, it breaks my heart daily. It is heartbreaking. I know my mom is heartbroken because yeah. she's a seven mm. or she was a seven or a seven and a half. Oh, Lisa and I are closer. <laughs> and so she was like, why, why? Because I really love having cool shoes. Shoes are my favorite. Throwback to my my shoe dog era, my first, my first job working in shoes. But I agree with you, Maria. I think for me, it's shoes and like jewelry. I, I can always dress up anything mm-hmm. I feel with earrings or necklaces. I'm very big on my like 1400 chains or like a, a cool sneaker. I love hats too. I'm a big hat gal. Yeah. Like, so you can take a basic thing and dress it up with a fun accessory. Yeah. I mean, in my first book, the every girl's guide to life, I talked about like having a few staples, like you mm-hmm. want your staples, you need a good blazer, you need a good white tee, you need yeah. a good jean, you need the good shoe. Like you need like some staples, you know, you need a black sandal, you need a black pump, little basics in your closet, and then you can have fun with the other stuff. Yes. And it doesn't have to cost a lot. Um, it really is about how you wear things. I have so many friends out here that always look like a million bucks and the stuff is so cheap. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. The only people that know are the bougie people who are looking for labels. And I think that's the I think that's such a like cheat for fashion. I think that I it's really easy to buy a label and um, it's a lot more challenging or it's not a lot more challenging. It's a lot cooler to to try to find things that aren't the obvious. I 100% agree. And I don't know if you have watched Inventing Anna yet. I started and then I got really mad at the montage sequence in the first episode and it was so cheesy and I got really mad and I tuned out. <laughs> I don't remember the montage sequence, but I tuned- I get so mad easily and I'm like, nope, I'm out. This is so bad. <laughs> yeah, I did two episodes and now I'm, I can't do it anymore. But what honestly- Why? Because it, it's not good? I didn't like it. See? I didn't like it. Everyone's and I upset. love that actress. She was yeah, in um, Ozark. Ah, uh, yeah. I and didn't I realize love that. her and I couldn't. No, I couldn't do it either. And honestly, it kind of annoyed me, <laughs> which I'm sure this was her character. <clears throat> but going back to the label thing, there's the part in it when she's like talking or she's making fun of the reporter on, about her clothing and that she needs to. She's like, well, you could do like Dior. And I'm like, no one's like that. Like, OK, maybe a handful of people mm-hmm. are. But like, come on. Anyways. So to your point, I don't think the label makes it nice. No. Like, <clears throat> come I've on. I've always said that you can... The, it's about the fit. That's why mm-hmm. expensive clothes are expensive. It's because they're well-designed, well-tailored. Yeah. And so you can tailor things that are cheap in terms of price and make it look incredible yep. um, for your body. So that's always my thing. But um, friends, my Macy's.com backslash better together page I am going to have um, all my spring picks up by the end of the day, everybody. So you'll see all of my yellow explosions. There's a yellow rug in there that I'm really excited about. Yeah, I heard yellow is hot for this spring. Yeah, I love yellow. Me too. There's a song in Greece, Maria in the Yellow. So my mom for my wedding wanted me to change into a yellow dress. And so I did. Oh, cute. And and so yellow's always been my favorite. But I will say... Um, I chose a bunch of, um, black owned designer businesses, um, and some of their pieces in here. And so queen, I know you love jewelry. Love. And do you see, pull up those multicolored little U earrings? 
are so cool. Those are so hot. Wow. And those will make your jeans and your t-shirt outfit just totally pop. And how much are they? I forget. 40? 40 bucks. Okay. And you guys, low stock. So get in there while you can. Yeah. It's from Swanky Designs. So cute. And they're super cute. And then there's some men's uh, bracelets, leather bracelets that I pulled. Kevin loves these bracelets. Um, so if you want to support uh, some black owned businesses, these are some really great picks. There's a tennis um, tennis collection necklace. So I don't know if you've seen, but all those like diamond stud necklaces, like the tennis bracelet, but the necklace version are oh, very popular right now. Yeah. And, um, and I so saw it on this here. is a, a really, really pretty one. And uh, it's by Oma the Label. I popped a little Harlem candle on there. And that's not that expensive. Like it's not bad for a good chain to wear. If you want to wear that daily. Okay. Yeah. Well, and it's day to night because it's super fancy. Yeah. And then Swanky Designs, these really pretty pink evil eye kind of necklace uh, earrings. Mm. I think they're evil eye. They I really like love those. Eye. And then another Oma gold earring, the Zoe earrings. I thought were really pretty. So I threw those on there too. Oh, I love these ones. Cute, right? Yeah, really cool. That's my favorite um, when it comes to jewelry. I like gold. I like simple, but I like it when it's like a Thick. little bit different, like a little bit funky. And I feel like these are like a little funky. Yeah. Like I like how they're opposite. Anyways, they're very cool. Really, really cute. Okay. So the funky tree sanitizing box I had to buy. Um so this is like me, I'm perusing Macy's.com and I'm popping these on my Better Together <laughs> page, anything that I see that I love. Um, and and then I go back and I start saying, okay, well, what are we going to purchase now? What do I need? Uh, and so I had to get another one of these because I needed one for inside the house. I have one here and now I'll have one inside the house, but this is so cool, guys. So it's a phone sanitizing box. We've talked about this one before. So you open it, it's plugged in. You pop your phone in. Wait, do I pop it in with my case? Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Duh. I, I took would. it out of the case, <laughs> but I want my whole phone to be... And the case is the nastiest part. That's the part. nasty part. So what did they say? The phones are as dirty as a 7-Eleven toilet? Or just toilet in general. Yeah. So now you just pop it in, you push the button, start, and now it will sanitize. And it takes eight minutes, Pooja? Yes. And yeah. then it will beep and it will be done. I'm and trying now to get out that. I don't have to grab my Brio Tech every two seconds <laughs> and be cleaning this. I'm just going to throw it in here and I'm going to be done. So cool. And guess what, ladies? I'm going to allow you to use it too. <gasps> wow. Wow. <laughs> Love you. Honored. <laughs> I like how Pooja, honored. Pooja scooted so everyone can see your honored face. I don't know why I can't hear you guys as well now. Your audio totally dropped out of my ear. Oh. Yeah. Maybe it's your headphones? Maybe. That's weird. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hey. Um, Interesting. Yeah. So there we go. A nice sanitiz uh, sanitizing box. It's on sale right now for $50.99. Friends, I highly recommend you put it in the, you know, entry of your house or some high traffic area like the kitchen and you just sanitize it every day yeah. and keep it clean. I think it's a, a very uh, important little investment. So I'm very happy with mine. Okay. Back to fashion trends. And, and Maria, before you go on there yeah. quickly to say it again, it's Macy's.com backslash better together yes. is where you can find Maria's curated page. Yes, which friends. I'm very excited to see the spring stuff. Well, we're very grateful to Macy's for being part of this, um, part of our team and part of Better Together. And so um, anything that you buy by going to Macy's.com backslash Better Together, we get a credit for. So if there are things that you want to buy, obviously Macy's has everything under the sun from homeware to appliances, to fashion, to shoes, to everything. Um, jewelry, furniture, you can get it all there. Um, it's really, really helpful. Kelsey recently bought this eight cup coffee maker, which I didn't get to see. So is it a separate grinder on the side? No, I wish. I got the like, I have like a $20 little um, grinder that I got. I don't even know from where I've had it for a minute, but this coffee machine, you guys. Wait, so you 
bought a different version of this coffee machine? No, no, no. I have that one. Oh. I, I have that exact one. Is it one. just photographed with that, but it doesn't Correct. come with that? Correct. Oh. Correct. But it is the best drip coffee I have. I mean, I have it in my cup right now. No way. I did a lot of research. How long does it take to make the cup? Or to make the like thing? Like maybe three to five minutes. Okay. So you, does it grind fresh? No, so I grind my own beans fresh. Okay. Or you, you can get them ground at whatever coffee coffee yeah. shop, right? And so then all I do is I put it in add there. my water. Do you have a, put a filter in there? I have, yeah, I put a filter in there. I put my grinds in and I press. So there's two options. You can have like a two to four cup oh. or you can have a six to eight cup. And I usually do two to four cup because it's just for me. And are you drinking it as you're getting ready? Uh, no, I usually drink. I usually like... Take it to go? Yeah, take it to go. Wow. It's and it's so good. It I like my really cute. It and it look and it fits well in my kitchen. Like I have a very small kitchen. It's small and compact and mm-hmm. it fits nicely. It's not <clears throat> too big. And I'm telling you, like I'm a coffee snob. I like it strong. I don't like yeah, it has to be good. And this machine is so good. So I love it. I'm very thrilled. Okay. OXO apparently, according to some of my friends in the restaurant industry, is like a very nice brand has a cult following so that's why i went with it interesting and i've now joined the cult (laughs) oh guys i'm actually seeing i didn't realize my lna mock cutout neck top is on sale for 69 dollars Ooh, maybe you need it oh my god everything's on sale right now that necklace i have the black and gold one that is so cute 40 dollars. the um high-waisted cotton destructed jeans are 37 dollars dang um, hmm. very, oh, I'm glad I waited on my jockey pants. I'm going to buy them on sale. Hey, God, I love a sale. <laughs> I love a sale. That's the thing about Macy's. Everything's always on sale. Yeah. I've been always. wanting to buy these. Um, I've been wanting to buy these jockey pants and the Charlie holiday lounge pants in the top. Mm. Cause Kevin still, um, <laughs> he still calls me a lumberjack when I go to bed. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's really bad, guys. My pajama game, I keep saying I'm going to bring it up and then I still haven't done it because I get distracted by my other purchases. I'm like, it gets cold at night, so I'm going to wear my sweats. Yeah. And I look like a lumberjack. See, I was telling Maria this the other day, you guys, because I usually just wear a big t-shirt to bed. I could quite literally care less, nor do I have anyone to um, show off to. But I did wear a sweatsuit the other day to bed because it was freezing And then it made me think, okay, I should probably get a cute pair for these nights, but... A cute pair for who? Myself. (laughs) Myself. It's true, actually. I really believe in that. I do. (laughs) I actually do. Um, You know what else I was just thinking I need to add to my list Hmm. is the weighted blanket for everybody to get. So I have been sleeping the last couple of nights with my weighted blanket and it's changing my life. I am actually not tossing and turning because I'm forced not to. Yeah. And it's incredible. They're amazing. Are you still sleeping with one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love I have I've got I've slept with mine for a couple of years now. Like I can't go without it. Pooja, I love it. Do you sleep with a weighted blanket? No. Pooja. You would love it. Yeah, you need it. Really? Oh it helps with anxiety too. God, it's it helps everything. with anxiety. Yeah, because you it's like it's pressure on your body. I love it. It's, do you know yeah. I used to have Kevin steamroll me? It's it's our, our term. I if I'm really like anxiety and stressed and like just losing my mind. I'm like, will you steamroll me? <laughs> and so he rolls over my body. Oh my gosh. And then he rolls back over my body. So I'm in bed and he's just rolling back and <laughs> forth because I want that pressure on me. And this blanket is everything. So they have them here. How many pounds oh, is yeah. yours? Mine's 15. So 15 pounds, you get it for $54 on sale right now. Limited time special. Ella Jane, we're going to add that because that is Please it. Please do. You guys, these are typically 160 bucks. Yeah. It's wow. an, an, an it's called an so anti-anxiety good. weighted blanket. Yeah. Damn. That's what originally why I got it. Because I was always that kid who I needed like 17 blankets <laughs> For me to actually sleep. And really? then, yeah, I need like a, I like all the pressure on me. And so, so I got funny. this and here we are. Well, and Game then changer. Kelsey ever the consumer in Connecticut was like <laughs> buying, she just buys everything. And I was yep. like, oh my God, it's just another Kelsey purchase. But then Kevin bought them and then he forced it on me. And I was like, oh, this I get. Okay, mm-hmm. this works. And Kevin did find Maria a heated weighted blanket. No, he didn't. That's what he's told me. 
he told me to get it for my dad for Christmas. And That's I was like, like next level. Yeah. I was like, Doug doesn't need that, but oh. I know. So we'll have to investigate on that. You guys, but for starters, yeah. 15 pounds for 54 bucks. That's crazy. Craziness. Okay. Yeah. Please add that to our list. So friends, if you go to Macy's.com backslash better together, you'll see some spring trends. I actually pulled a really pretty suit Ooh. in pale yellow for our working ladies. I like that. Um, it was really, really pretty and it was really like inexpensive and just gorgeous. So, um, it's hard cause sometimes I'm always just pulling with like me in mind. <laughs> so then I started <laughs> right. thinking like, wait a minute. And I kept going back to it and then I go away and then I go back to it. I'm like, I know someone's going to want this. Someone's going to need this. Like a Miranda. Yes. Who's going to have to go into court. Yes. Is going to need this. So I pulled it for the Mirandas of the world who cool. might need a beautiful little pale yellow suit for summer. And so I spring. hear pastels are very in mm-hmm. for spring. One of the trends that I was reading about. Pastels, yellow. Um, our friends at Macy's were talking about American heritage. How would you describe American heritage? It's God. got like that stripe in it usually. Yeah. Or like a, a flannel kind of plaid situation. Like um, I was looking or seeing a lot of kind of those oversized maxi dresses. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <clears throat> that's okay. how I would describe it. I don't know if that's really a great description, but that, Pooja, would you like to add anything to that? I can't even look at my phone to see the email to like really pull it up because my phone's being cleaned. Oh yeah. Um, Bought me. But you can pull it up. Yeah, I can right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the meantime, um, Green is still a really hot color. Platform shoes. I'm seeing platforms everywhere. Everywhere. And they scare me because I feel like I'm going to break an ankle on some of those. Like I have the, like these goldish, like what's that rose gold? Yeah. Like a rose gold platforms. And I love them. They're super comfy. But even though sometimes I'm like, okay, but everything's platform for spring. Honestly, they don't scare me. They make me feel like a powerful bad B because when I put them on, then I'm like 5'10". Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like towering. So I love them. And shout out back to American Heritage really quickly, Maria. So yeah, you were right. Stripes, um, honestly, very preppy kind of tennis. Yeah. That's what, what I was like, what are you like. describing? Because I remember looking at this and it's like... But, East Coast Prep School. East Coast Prep, but yeah, very. There's a couple of like those like oversized maxi. I was thinking flannel, but it's stripe. Okay, you're right with stripe. (laughs) Well, but there's a plaid. There's a plaid blazer up in the corner. Okay, I'll give you guys some. Yeah, you can't see that, but anyways, that's one of the Macy's. According to the Macy's headquarters, there's some sweater vests in there. Yeah, knitted sweater vests. Yeah, I think those sweater vests are going to be. They they've been kind of popular. But they'll continue through spring. I think so too. For sure. And then oversized is continuing. But I do think low rise jeans are coming back. I'll never do it. Stop manifesting that. Yeah, stop it. Friends. Stop putting it in the universe. It's Mm -hmm. happening. I'm not wearing them. It's (laughs) happening. Rebel with you. Yeah, Pooja and I will not be wearing those. I know you guys are going to look like moms now. At some point, the mom (laughs) jean is going to look bad. Unless you have... A body that can support a low rise jean, which I am not subscribing to. That is not me. I'm going me back to well. my Britney moments, guys. Yeah, that's it's happening. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you can do it for the for the three of us. <laughs> oh my lord! I was like, I just finally found all the high rise jeans that I want. You know, it's like yeah, it's hard. I try not to jump on trends too fast because I'm like, how long is this sticking around for? Right? And jeans are a major investment. So, um, that's why I buy the ones I have on my page for uh, that are on sale. Uh, <laughs> jeans are a major investment. So I was like, nah, and I kind of waited and now I don't know if they're going to come back though. You really think? Yes. Yes, I do. I agree with her. I, but, I don't th- but I don't think that means that high rise are going to be out. I don't think that it's, I don't like, think they're officially out. No, no. definitely not. But I know low rise are going to be in and yeah. then that's going to just shift real fast at some point. Yeah. But I know that tool is really big on the fall runways, uh, on the runways for fall. They're doing mm. like a lot of like dresses over pants. So dresses over pants are big and tool with like a sweater, like a sweater with tool bottom. Wasn't um, that a 2000 thing? Dresses over like jeans? Very yeah. Y2K. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Y2K. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. Yeah. So that's coming back. Wow. Um, 
And what else did I see on the runways that was interesting? Cutouts, a lot of cutouts. A lot of cutouts. That's why I have some of those cutout sweaters and dresses and stuff on my page because I know that they're really popular. And um, yeah, and I was mini in, skirts. There was a lot of mini skirts on the runway. Yeah, mini skirts are mm-hmm. good. Um, I was definitely really inspired by um, Patrice Washington on our episode when she talked about redoing her bathroom. Oh. And how much that helped her in her journey back from debt, hmm. overwhelming debt. And so when I saw that yellow rug, I just thought, oh my gosh, this would just brighten up a space and make it so pretty. And I'm thinking about a rug for my office. I had one before and the babies oh. kept peeing on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I would like to put something in there, but... I think that'd be nice in there. Yeah, I love my office. I'm so like, it makes me so happy now the way I rearranged it. Um, but yeah, I think I think making any space that you have to be in all the time feel good is so important. So if it's your bathroom or your kitchen and you just want, like I have scummy kitchen towels. Oh, have you ever worst. seen my kitchen towels? They're scummy. I don't think so. It's a little embarrassing. Like I need, <laughs> I'm telling you, there are some areas that just need some major upgrading. We just are always too busy and we didn't care, but yeah. some scummy kitchen towels. We need to like, you need to upgrade those. And how's, how's your hunt going for your new glasses? I haven't done that yet, but Kevin wants um, a bigger wicker, <laughs> a bigger wicker basket for the kitchen to put all of our heated blankets in. Because friends, we moved our recliners at Christmas in front of the TV in the kitchen and we moved our like modern couch off to the side and it's become our new favorite place to hang. And yes, I was very resistant to the recliner thing because it's not very fashionable, but man, is it comfortable. And I believe recliners are going to have their kind of, um, their moment just like socks and sandals were very unfashionable. I feel it is similar to the recliner. And I think we might be the ones to just bring that recliner, just like minivans. We love our minivans. Pooj knows she loves it too. She does. obsessed with their minivans. I think (laughs) that we single-handedly here as a heel squad could bring recliners and minivans up. I think so too. To the next level. Oh, yeah. Where you'll see Kanye and his Yeezys popping out of a minivan. He'll drive up to his next dawn to release in a minivan. Totally. Yeah. Totally. And I think you'll see him rocking in his little recliner. Yeah. Maybe he'll post it on his Instagram. One of his 1,400 a day. Right. He'll be like, it's at Better Together. That (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be us. Um, But anyhow, so he wants a bigger basket to put, because we have a little basket that used to hold like, you know, some blankies, but he wants something bigger to hold all the other ones. So I'm going to go on my hunt to get a bigger like wicker basket. I can probably just look online and not have to go into the store, but I'm going to look at some of those heavier glasses and I definitely need um, a new mug because I keep using my Christmas mug because it's the biggest, widest one, but I yes. really want to wait till we get our merch figured out because I want to use my better together mugs. Yes. So we are um, hopefully going to be moving forward that with that very soon. I'm going to go see Andrew next week when he's back in town and that makes me so excited yeah please remind me because it's been so busy i will um that's like on the forefront of my brain because i love merch and i love sweatshirts and i love anything chic and cool and cozy mm -hmm. and like how cool to be able to wear ours yeah so i'll remind you thank you you're welcome uh so i do think that you want to look at investing in a colorful platform like clog for spring so I found, I'll have to show you, I'm actually going to pull it up. And I, even Crocs, like colorful Crocs, yeah. obviously. They've been a thing for a minute, but um, what were you going to say, Queen? That I found a really cool one when I was doing um, some spring research for today's show. I found a really cool one on Macy's. Tell me where. That I'm going to pull it up right now and see see what we're working with. But it was like brightly colored and okay. very cool. They definitely have all the Crocs on here. And I see some like multicolored Crocs. So those are good. Oh, they've got a Sam Edelman. That was it. Orange clog. That was it. Interesting. That was it. It was Sam Edelman. That's cute. And does it come in like purple too? That was the one. And then look at this Madden girl one. How cute is this little gnome? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so a, cute. That's actually really cute. Yeah. We should put that on the page. I think that'll look... Oh, my God. The I pink. know. I want that. Those will look great with spring dresses. Yeah. I'm 
I need those I in think my those life. Those are really pretty. Oh, and this yellow croc platform, I think, is another one you need to put in here. So I'm approved to get a platform shoe. Yes. By you. <laughs> Kelsey's Ooh. purchases must be run through me Honestly, or, I need it But you might turn on me like Dimitri did <laughs> Dimitri had a turn on me Do you know what he started doing? No He's He just went buck wild shopping I mean like, you know, he, on like Rodeo Dimitri wild, yeah. Like Rodeo <laughs> And he would be like, don't tell Maria <laughs> Like he'd be with like Megan Trainer, or Camilla Cabello, Bernie Spears And they'd be like, oh my god, I love your new, you know, Balenciaga shoes And he'd be like don't tell Maria. <laughs> That's so, hilarious. Okay, so pull the yellow crocs, crocs that are platform and we'll put on there. And um, and do your white. I think those are really cute. So we're trying to help you, friends. I'm into with this. some fashion picks because I'm I my own stylist most of the time for things I do. So I'm always just kind of looking at what's out there and I'm grabbing things like that black laden dress that I wore at Super Bowl. I'm always collecting and collecting for the moment when Live with Kelly needs me to come in or I'm going to go do a guest appearance on some other show or whatever. Um, So I'm always hunting and searching and I don't want to have to spend a lot of money. And we are grateful for that. Macy's.com backslash better together. We'll put the link inside the um, page. Okay. So Queen, we have questions. We have questions. Um, Yeah. It should be right under there. One pertains... specifically to style. So I would love you to hit that one first. Okay. Why don't you ask me? Okay. I will ask you. Well, <laughs> Kelsey's like, me pull it up. let me panic to find it. <laughs> you got to start printing these for yourself. Well, it's hard. Cause then my little area gets so like crammed in here. So Pooji has the, the computer next to me mm. so she can show me. Is it when you look your best, you feel your, you feel great? Yeah. Well, it's how to find your style. So when you look your best, you you when you look your best, you feel great. What are some of Maria's best tips to finding your style? A style that reflects your personality, fun, and occasionally pushes you out of your comfort zone. How mm. do you get there? Yeah, I mean it's it is kind of a tough thing. I think you gotta you gotta look at what you're attracted to on your own. Like I feel like we all dress the same around each other, right? So it's really easy to dress in a pack because it's, we all just want to fit in, in life and in fashion. And so we all wear the same things because we know we're going to be approved by the people around us, right? Like if you come in with some hot mess thing, I'm going to be like, Kelsey, what are you wearing? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> she just spit on her coffee. I did. Because <laughs> <laughs> right? you would. I, I mean, like, you'd, kindly, you'd kindly shame me and be no, like, never again. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. If but, it was really bad, but I'd be appreciative of that. If it was really bad, I think you would probably ask me like, hey, what do you think? And yeah. then I would tell you the truth if you asked me. But yeah. I'm not going to shame somebody for their fashion unless they ask. <laughs> unless they want feedback. Unless they want the feedback. But here's the thing. That's my feedback because it's my personal style choice, right? I think that that is the problem is that we keep asking everybody else when we should just be asking ourselves and we should just be looking at what looks good on our body. What colors do we love? So like start with colors. I love yellow. I know red is a great color for me. I love black. I love grays. I love neutrals. Okay, cool. So here we are. I know I'm not going to really wear purple. Not my thing. Okay. I'm going to try to push myself sometimes. Um, I do love like neon and bright colors and, um, and all of that. Okay. Then we talk about fit. Like what do you feel best in? What are the things that have always made you feel the best? And not just the things you've been most complimented in because that could get you stuck in a place. And we've talked about this before you can get stuck in something that you've been complimented on before and then just, you know, beat that drum to death and not kind of get out of it. Um, you know, for me, I know things that are fitted at my waist look best on me. Um, I think that, um, you know, I, I know certain different neck styles that look good on me. So you got to know what, what looks good on you slash what makes you feel 
like your best, happiest, sexiest, whatever it is. What about for those, I, and I'm just saying this because I know, like I even know with my sister, I helped her a lot with her style because she didn't necessarily know what looked good on her. Mm-hmm. So I think, you know, I guess it's a, it's a question, but it's also a statement too. I think finding someone like a Maria who does, does like you appreciate their opinion mm-hmm. and you are a great dresser. So I'd be like, hey, do you like, is this a good neckline for me? Or is it, because that's a hard thing for a lot of people, I think. Yeah. Well, that's why I love Macy's. They have their own stylist. Like online, if you're online, it'll say, do you want to talk to a stylist? They will help you and guide you. And maybe, I mean, listen, I live to help people with their fashion. It's um, somebody on our team. It was their Christmas gift. I haven't actually told them just yet because time has just flown and I've been so busy, but my Christmas gift is to take them shopping. Um, and I did it with my mom all the time. I would take her and we would go shopping and I would put looks together for her. And I'm like, okay, you can wear it like this. You can wear it like this because it's just easier, right? I have done this for so long and I've come a long way from being nervous and insecure about putting things together to working with the top people in this industry and seeing how, um, you know, people were just brave in doing things and they didn't, they weren't thinking twice. They weren't blinking. They just wore the socks with the shoes and it looked cool. And everyone's like, Whoa, that's so cool. But the rest of us are just scared to do it. Right. So I've had the opportunity to like grow and build my style because of the industry I'm in and the things that I'm exposed to and the things that I have to do. So now I know what to do generally and I know what's going to feel right and look right. Um, I definitely still will run it by Kevin. (laughs) I'm like, honey, what do you think? And he'll be like, no. (laughs) <laughs> no. My mom was brutal with me. She'd be like, no, Maria. And I'm like, mom, really? what are you going to like? You hate everything. <laughs> you know, you get frustrated when they say no, because you're like, but um, I love helping people find their fashion. It's so much fun for me. So maybe when we do, we are potentially doing an event for Macy's live in person in New York in May, I think. Oh, I hope so. Potentially. Spoiler. <laughs> so... Maybe that would be a cool, um, you know, little road trip for anybody who lives in the area to come out and I'll, I'll help you. That would be so cool. I live to do it. Me And I do too. That used to, used to be my job and it was so fun. Yeah. It's so fun. It's easier to style other people than yourself. That's at least what I've found yeah. with me. My other tip, I would say I screenshot a lot of <laughs> like your outfits. I have a folder on my phone that's like fashion inspo. You know, it's like I'll screenshot Mm -hmm. things I've liked from you or like things I see on other women or anyone really. And I'll keep it in an album. So then if I'm like, oh, I want to do something different, I can reference that. I love that. So that's another thing in my first book that I did. I used to tell people I would back then rip magazine pages. Anything that I loved where I was like, oh, that's bold and that's different and that's cool. Um, I'm going to. I create a collage in my closet. So So when I would get ready in the morning, I had inspo on my wall, right? And I would say, oh, maybe I should do this today in my version, right? Um, And so I still think that's a really great way to go. So if you have those Instagram shots that you've archived, take, take them and print them. You know, if you don't have a printer where you can do that, just go to like, you know, Staples. Somewhere, yeah. yeah, like a Staples, and print them and put them up on your wall and have your fashion inspo board so that it can help you figure out what you want. And then there are apps too. Stand by. This thing never rang to tell me that it's clean. <laughs> it's definitely been more than eight minutes. For sure. Maybe yeah. I didn't push the button. Well, <laughs> oh, no. This better be sanitized, people. Okay. I have an app here. Let's see where it is. It's a closet app. Oh, cool. And. Okay, it's called Style Book. So in here, because I was always traveling, I would take pictures of things in my closet so I could remember them. So you can take pictures, put them in, and archive them under shoes, sweaters, jackets, whatever. And then you, there's a part where it's like looks, day, work, evening, formal. So it's a little bit of a time investment, but sometimes it really helps. So I know for me, I have all this stuff in my closet, and most of the time I just go to the same thing, white T-shirt and jeans, because it's just easy. But then I get mad at myself because I'm like, I have so many things that I should just be enjoying and using. So in those rare moments, I will do a fitting with myself. 
I'll put all different kinds of things together and I'll photograph them. And then I'll go back after and be like, oh no, that wasn't good. No, that felt better in the moment. Don't love this. Because when you photograph something, it's very different I than learned in that from person. You. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, um, so I create my looks and I have a little folder on my phone that says looks. So when I'm stressed and pressured to get ready and I don't have a lot of time or have no creativity in my brain to do anything, which happens a lot, I'll just look in the folder and I'll, I'll pull them. So you can use an app to help you. Um, but definitely take advantage of the Macy stylist and say, Hey, I have a, a couple of things coming up. What, what do you have that would fit within this budget? And, um, and have them pull some things that, you know, maybe are staples that you can be reusing throughout spring. Like if you get like one of those, I have this really cute little cardigan with a little matching tank that, you know, I can interchange with different skirts, different trousers, different jeans, and it's just like a pretty little set. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to to help everybody with it if I can. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I think that's so fun. At these events, because it's really fun. I like that. The other thing too, I was going to say that I think is so beautiful for like the world we live in now. There's someone who has your same body type, Mm -hmm. you know, so it's like you can actually see now. Exactly. Such a great point. Exactly. So it's like, go find someone because that's what I do. It's like, go find someone who has my body type. If I'm not sure what looks good on me, that looks good on them. Yeah. So then I'll like kind of, you know, use them as a catalyst for what I go by. So anyways, that's another like you have super long legs. Mm -hmm. Like for you, those like shirt dresses Ah, that are like a little shorter, but it's oversized and not fitted at the waist. Like, yeah, like your legs are your best asset probably. And I would have, right. Yeah. I like for me, it's not, that's not my asset. It's my waist, let's say, Mm -hmm. right. Somebody else might have the chest or somebody else that's like their decolletage. Like everyone's got something. Right. And so play up your, your best assets. So we've gone over picking your colors, finding the things that look best on your body. Mm -hmm. Like what have you felt sexiest in and best in? And then um, having your inspo wall to help you, your cheat sheet. And then tailoring. Huge tip. Tailoring things. So if you go to your dry cleaner, they usually have a tailor there that will tailor some things to your body a little bit and make it, you know, fit better. You guys, I buy $50 Zara jeans and I bring them to get tailored. For like 30 bucks and then they look like $200 jeans. There you go, queen. There you go. Um, And then, yeah. And then just start to push yourself out of your comfort zone in different ways. Like I am not a pattern person at all. So sometimes I'll push myself to look at something with a pattern and say, okay, I'm going to try this. There's a brand called Farm Rio that's sustainable that I really love. And I bought one of their shirts last year. And I really died. I was like, it's so bright and so many different colors. I feel like, you know, I would never normally wear this. And I loved it. I paired it with like a khaki short and it was the cutest outfit. It was so cute on you. Yeah. So, and, and I think Kelsey, what you said, find your people that you really love, like your fashion inspo people and go to them for the inspo because they're looking at everything. They're pairing things differently. They're trying new things and and see what they're doing and you can do it too. Amen. Yeah. I also think a spring closet clean, always a good idea. I'm constantly cleaning. I have my to give away, to sell um, in my, my two bins in my closet. And I'm constantly, when I see something and I'm like, I haven't worn this in a while, I'm going to try it on. Nope, never wearing it. Bye. I just keep getting rid of stuff because then it's it's making my clean out times way easier. I'm just doing it as I go. I'm looking in my closet. Haven't worn that in a long time. Haven't worn that in a long time. Bye, bye, bye. Like right now I have to go through my sweaters and my blazers. I have sweaters in there that have been there for years that I just never wear in winter. I wear the same things. So they're going to go. Goodbye. Yeah. That's it. They just, what happens is they clutter your brain. So you know, you're going to go to that section of your closet and you don't want any of it, but it's there taking up space. So get rid of it and then bring something fresh in. 
that you're going to be excited for. I think that's a great tip because I always wait till the <laughs> the one big like purge and it's daunting. Yeah. yeah. And it's overwhelming. So yeah, I like you're that. so scared. Like I'm cheap. So I'm like, oh, this was an expensive sweater. I don't want to get rid of it. Well, you're not wearing it. I know. And it's been years. I, I'm thinking about this one pink sweater. It's so cute, guys. I haven't worn it in forever. Yes, it's, you know, a, a you know, pretty penny of a sweater. <laughs> but I'm not wearing it. Not so why is it sitting it. there? And or, and it's stressing me out every time I see it in there, yes. along with the other sweaters that I don't wear anymore. Yeah. Just get rid of them. Mm-hmm. Because styles do change and and you change and your taste change and you just got to go with it and just don't be bogged down by what you spent then. Um, there are so many great places where you can sell and refund your closet and just keep replenishing with what you have. Kim K taught me that she would buy all this stuff, sell it. And then it would just balance off. I also, when I sell, that's my like little kitty to donate when I have all the dog charities that reach out to me. They're like, this dog needs a surgery (laughs) and that dog. You're like, like, okay. (laughs) Um, so that makes me, um, feel good, but yeah, you gotta, you gotta do it. And if you can't do it, you have to have a ruthless friend that will come. So when I was moving my closet to my new closet, Dimitri came over and we were ruthless. And then we competed over who could be more ruthless. And I was like, nope, goodbye, goodbye. And he's like, no, 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 I like this. Keep this. And I'm like, okay, fine. All right. I was throwing it out just for the record. (laughs) And we were competing over who would get rid of more. Oh, I like that. And we just wiped my closet out. And you felt so much better. I don't remember any of it. I don't miss any of it. Period. Period. End of story. Yeah. Life moves forward. And, and, you know, when we're stuck in all of that, and it's funny, my mom, I think, and somebody else always said like, money is supposed to be spent. It's supposed to flow. Right. And if we're so like scared and holding on all the time and fearing, it's not going to flow to us either. So it's got to keep flowing. Doesn't mean don't save. Trust me. I'm the biggest saver. Like you got to keep letting it flow. So don't be afraid. I like that. I'm talking to myself, by the way, at the same time. <laughs> and me. Because these sweaters and there's some blazers, they're just not in anymore. Get rid of them. <laughs> uh, Maria, I literally, you know, I'm the, <laughs> I'm the queen of that. I hold on to everything, yeah. everything. So Pooj, how, how are you with this? I also hold on to everything. I know really? I'm on the side taking notes. It's hard to see my face. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> you hold on to everything? Um, yeah, I hold on to everything. I, I recently did like a whole purge though in my house like at home in New Jersey because I was moving out here and I I got rid of a lot but still like I I know when I go back there's just so much waiting for me just Mm -hmm. to get rid of but I'm the same way if it's like expensive and I didn't wear it that much I'm like shoot like I have to I have to use it like I have to get my wear but you're right there's other ways that you can go about it you can get it to a friend you can try to resell it there's there's other ways but yeah 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 like I saw those jeans that I bought and I was like okay these are so cute. I'm a little thicker. And I know someone who's not as thick as me. <laughs> they might fit perfect. And I gave them to Kelsey and you were so giddy. And there you go. Boom. And I've already worn them twice this week. Twice. They're so cute. They're so cute. And I then Pooja that. had to go yeah. buy them. <laughs> yeah. But that's a, it's a great point, Maria, because I'll do that too if it, there's something that I... I'm like, oh, I don't want to get rid of. Like, I've given Pooja a couple of things that I wouldn't have gotten rid of. But and then you feel better about yes, it. Yes, because I yeah. love seeing how happy she is. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, yeah. amazing. Then I feel good. Yeah, so. I know. I, I examine my wardrobe and I'm like, okay, is this something that would be good for this person? Is that like, I'll think of it, all of you guys. I'm like, no, I think this would be good for her. I think she would like this. Or I think Alyssa, okay. And I'll go through things and then the rest I get rid of. I'm like, goodbye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, all right, friends. Well, lots of goodies today. Uh, today, M- March 3rd, according to nationaltoday.com is <laughs> national. I want you to be happy day. <laughs> Isn't that great? Kelsey. <laughs> so it's national. I want you to national. I want you to be happy day, giving each of us the opportunity to brighten someone's day through simple acts of kindness and selflessness. Don't you love being around people who spread cheer everywhere they go? That's you, Kelsey. Oh, today you, you that could is. be that person. It's so easy to do. And well, we want you to be happy too. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I what pulled, the rest of this is. I pulled the excerpt from, um, whatever that was today. 
So what's the point? We have to be nice to somebody today? Yes. Well, <laughs> tell I me think, what we're doing here. I think you should be nice to someone every day. Yes. But, you know, today I always like to look up if there's certain holidays or things, you know, that mm-hmm. are happening. And that was that was today. So be extra aware of how you're treating people today. And if you can be extra kind, then be. That's I, such a cute day. Is that I told yeah. I told the kids that this morning. I said, what are we going to do to make this world a brighter place today, kids? I, I said, that. are we going to be extra nice to people today? And isn't that funny? I didn't know it was national. I want you to be happy day. There you go. And Winnie's out. always making people happy. So, Oh, my God. She's just in my lap right now making me happy. Oh, that little Winchens. She lives to get to you guys in the morning. It's so crazy because I'm like, what would she do if we weren't filming here every day? Because she would be so crushed. She'd be really sad. Yeah. She yeah. loves her squad. She does. Max waits for his squad, Violetta. <laughs> yeah, his solo squad. <laughs> and then yeah. at night, we're the squad, Kevin and I. Exactly. Aww. So He also gets his daily um, endorphins by jumping at mm-hmm. Pooja. Yeah. Oh, friends, I also pulled some cool animal gifts in, and put them in the um, in the curated page on Macy's.com backslash better together. So a little tip, when you have to buy a gift for somebody and you don't have a lot of money, um, and you don't know what to get them. Sometimes when you get their pet something, it's like really cool. So there's like a rosé all day, little stuffed, you know, rosé bottle um, that I pulled because if your friend loves rosé and she loves her, let's say, poodle, you could do that. Um, there's a LaCroix thing, but it's, Cute. it's something else with dogs. I can't remember what it is. So I pulled some dog gifts in there because we are starting to get to like, you know, different seasons. So there's like birthdays and things that you're going to be thinking about. I'm going to start pulling things for Mother's Day and Father's Day and graduations and proms and stuff. So I'll start littering this with some really cool things. So um, let us know what you guys think. Let us know if you want anything on there. Did anybody ever ask for anything specific? Nope. I'm still waiting. All right. Anybody asks, let me know. You guys can email me at info at better together with Maria.com if you have any um, things you want Maria to pull or anything okay. to help. I lied. We had one person actually, Pooj, remember the woman who she said, she said, I love all of Maria's picks, but can she pick a few things for 60 and older? Yes, I can. So that was one we have received. I shall do that. Yeah, I know. I've been trying to be mindful lately thinking I'm like, wait, this isn't just for me. <laughs> right. I, th- I think that's a good It's note. my personal archive. <laughs> but we, a lot um, of people love that. And she even said she loved that. She was just like, a you. few for the older would yeah. be great. <laughs> well, it's cool because for like the daughters, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's like a lot of cute stuff. But some of the stuff is gone. Like some of the cute stuff, you have to like get it now because it doesn't live forever. Like I wanted that white button down cross. Yeah. Thing, and I didn't get it in time and now it's gone. The green lioness sweater has gone and I'm sad about that. Yeah. There's a bunch of things mm-hmm. that I was hoping to get and I just didn't have time. Yeah. Um, and that are really cute for spring and then poof gone. So get it while you, while you see it. All right, friends, thank you so much for being with us. If you haven't checked out mariamenunos.com, please do. We have really worked hard on it with our friends at Forward Female. Um, you keep nailing that name. I'm really nailing it. Proud now. of you. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> do you know how hard it is for me to get it right after I've gotten it so wrong? I know. Anyhow, um, daily blogs from the show and the experts where we really just pinpoint the aha moments, the great takeaways for you, as well as all the new things that I'm obsessed with that um, I'm using, that I'm loving, and and more. So uh, check us out. We also have our newsletter that we're doing weekly. I used to do these monthly, but now we're doing them weekly. Weekly. Where you get your prescription for the week, which is, you know, some kind of, um, how would you describe it? Is it, are we doing three people? So what, we, what we're doing, it's, it's kind of like a mishmash of everything. So you guys are getting the what's happening next week just so you can kind of like, okay, gosh, Tuesday show is really speaking to me. I want to make sure I have time for that. So you're getting the upcoming guests for the week. And then you're getting, um, two of Maria's favorite things. Like last week we did the Brio tech and her Isla paradise that she keeps talking about, you know? So it's like, in case you missed it, these are, these are things Maria's loving. And then you'll get a throwback. That's like, Hey, if you missed this last week, this mm-hmm. was a great guest and a guest blog. So it's really, it's a mix wait, of 
It's called the RX because we're giving them a prescription. It's like a weekly prescription. So your prescription includes all of this stuff. It's like Maria's favorites, the upcoming oh, that's so guests. Funny. I old- forgot because we had originally started it because I wanted to give people a prescription for if you're grieving, here are three episodes you want to hear. So then we updated Switch- it to we like switched it, yeah. fill it with some more, but we are doing that in there still. Mm-hmm. Yes. So anyhow, um, you can sign up at mariamenunos.com and we are giving free gifts away of all the things that I love. Weekly. Uh, we are giving away we're reaching out to all the people that i am uh obsessed with and asking them to give you guys gifts because i love giving gifts mm-hmm. and so um that is every single week so sign up and enjoy uh some free stuff all right friends be nice people make good choices and be present